what exactly is this syndrome? You know, Robin, when I was in medical school, we were not taught about this. This is mm. incredibly rare, but as you heard, it's it's a neurologic condition um, that's often chronic, it's often progressive, and the hallmark features are spasms of muscles. Now, when you talk about muscles, we're talking head to toe, right? So we need our muscles to swallow, to speak, to sing, to breathe, to walk. Um, and that spasticity, those spasms can be incredibly painful. How is it diagnosed and how is it treated? You know, uh, misdiagnosis is common, underdiagnosis is common. It can often take years with a rare condition like this that most neurologists by definition have never seen. Oftentimes it's a diagnosis of exclusion. So we go through other neurologic conditions, say it's not that, and even though it's frustrating right. for the doctor and patient to know what it isn't, that's valuable information. A lot of times it's a combination of blood tests, some neurologic tests, sometimes a muscle biopsy, mm -hmm. um, and then when you arrive at someone saying to you, you have a rare condition, that what, is terrifying. I know, what that psychologically, the implications that must right. have. Right, mental component. Yeah. We talk about it all the time, connecting the dots from the psychological, emotional, mental to the physical. That is so important to always have hope, always give the patient yeah. hope, give them support, even when there's not the answer that they might be looking for, and recognize that when you're talking about a chronic condition for which there may be no cure, there's management. And so if your symptoms are at a 10, even getting them to a seven or a five on that symptom scale is gonna be a victory, and that's what we need to remember and celebrate. Jen, thank you so much.